Hey, I'm Teddy Geiger, and we're at Beat 360 Studios in New York. So I started out um, as just writing songs, and I'd record them onto Sound Recorder on uh, my friend's computer. My first time working with someone with real experience was that, that making of uh, underage thinking and, and really kind of like being able to take in and learn from someone who was a, was a very good producer. I first met Billy Mann when I was 15 years old uh, when I was taping for In Search of the Partridge Family, which was like a reality TV show where they were going to recast the Partridge Family for like a new series. And he was music director. We kept in touch after the show and ended up making a record together for Columbia Records. And all my insides are falling out, dangerously romantic. I've always had an, an interest in the production side of making music, even if it isn't for my music. When I'm thinking as a producer, thinking about a song and how it should be produced, I mean, a lot of it depends on who's singing the song and what do they like. You know, sometimes you can hear a song though and it's produced a certain way and it has like a lot of stuff piled on but the lyrics are like beautiful and you can't hear the lyrics because they're buried by like all this stuff. Like say, okay, well that song's great but like let's put it on a piano and like do live drums and just take a more minimal approach. You know how we used to. The danger of mixing for too long. I'll be mixing and mixing and mixing and like, I'll mix for like a week because I'm like, oh, I'm still not happy here and I'll bring it to the car and everything's, you know, and I'm, I'm really trying hard to get it to sound good. And then like end of the week, I'll be like, okay, relax. Like, and then I listen to everything the next week after like my ears have calmed down from like all of this listening. You know, you can get so focused on the music, on what you're doing, and, you know, you can get stuck on a lyric or get stuck on a part or get stuck on, you know, it's always good, I find, in those scenarios, just to walk away and give yourself some time, go do something else, read, like, a few pages from whatever book you're reading or, like, get a snack, and then come back and, like, listen to it again. And half the time when I do that, all of a sudden it's, like, very apparent to me what, what the problem is or, or how to take the lyric to a different place. Or you stop hitting that wall and then you can come back and you're like, oh, I just walk, or I just walk around it. Mm -hmm.